So my internship with GIFT was through the PUSH program, PUSH Camp. It's uh, pursuing urban sustainability at home. And basically it's a two week camp for high school students to um, have them come up with ways to include sustainability in their communities. A lot of them come to the camp with ideas about um, innovations that they need to have. And through PUSH, we give them resources and experiences to kind of take those ideas to the next level for their communities. I am very passionate about recycling, about conserving, and so being placed in with to be a part of the PUSH program really exposed me to things I have never heard, heard about. And so I also saw how easily uh, the topics of sustainability could be integrated within different subjects, science, math, social studies. I, I wasn't really aware of those connections, but then seeing the different lessons I had to design for PUSH and also from the guest speakers, I could see how that could be integrated into my math, social studies, science. And so that is my belief that in order to cause students or any person to change their behavior, it has to become a part of the culture. So in my classroom culture, I want from the day one integrate sustainability. This year, the students uh, were designing and building a calorimeter. Uh, basically, a calorimeter is just an instrument that measures the amount of heat that is given off by some chemical reaction or some physical process. So if you think in a high school, like at least what I did in chemistry class, we uh, had a styrofoam cup. And what we're trying, we're trying to do is kind of replace that and make something a little bit more fun. Because in the styrofoam cup, we would just have a thermometer and we would see the, th the temperature rise and that's pretty much it. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make it more engaging, maybe like make uh, something move where they can actually see it real time working. And then, uh, or maybe something that's uh, easier to make and more accurate than a styrofoam cup. So first we take uh, about 20 grams of aluminum and we heat it up to about 80 degrees Celsius. And then once, once it's at about 80 degrees, then we take it out of the water and we drop it into a, a jar that has styrofoam to insulate it so that the heat doesn't escape. And we cover it up with a glove so that um, we can make it airtight. And then with, um, we put rub a rubber band around the glove to make it even more airtight so no air goes away. So it's just a closed system. And then we put a uh, kind of like a stick with, uh, on top in the middle of the um, diaphragm so that when the diaphragm expands, we can see a larger change in the stick's height. We were using the cell phone so that we could record um, the stick moving so that later we can come back to our computer and do some video analysis and see exactly how much it moved. I think the biggest benefit they get is motivation. Um, I think this is a very inspiring opportunity to, to be able to engage in university research, see what a university is like, uh, and hopefully it keeps them really excited about science and engineering. Having been in this program, I, I'm even more ready to go into an engineering field. And I, I would love to go into something where I work in a laboratory and research new ways to help people in the future. I am a second generation electrical contractor. My father started the business and I am taking it over from him currently. We do predominantly commercial electrical installations, schools, jails, and churches. Um, this year in the gift program, I worked at Penco Electric. I worked in several departments from estimating to service in the field, the account, um, accounts payable, um, and also throughout the office. Um, a couple of the jobs I helped out with was going through the field, look at, observing what they were doing, their construction. I saw a site where it was bare, where they were just now putting the wires in and starting and being able to talk to the different workers. And I also was able to visit a site that was almost finished. So you see the final works of, okay, this was everything that went to the whole construction site done electrically. When they called me and asked me to do GIFT, um, I looked at it as an opportunity um, to show someone who has no understanding of my industry and give them a broad picture of my industry. And, and I'm hoping that what Amber learned here, she can take back to her students and explain to them that, you know, I saw what electrical contractors do and this is pretty amazing stuff. Now what a hyperspatial camera does is it will capture an image and 
based on what is inside of the lens at the time, it'll break that into different sections of the light spectrum, which are the red, yellow, blue, green. So what happens is we're using Photoshop to separate, try to get a sense of separating the different color schemes. And so if you go in here, you can take out green, and you can see the blue wavelength, and you can see the red alert wavelength. For the uses at home, people such as gardeners or bakers, they can use it to find out what their soil needs in order to help be more effective in growing. Uh, for baking, let's say you bake a cake, you take a picture of the cake, you can tell what the moisture levels are. So these are some of the earlier stages of um, our lens pieces to hold our lens. And the first um, testing was going to this band will have something where it could slide back and forth on the table. So that's why this piece is flat. But then we later decided to make a railing. So it has like a dolphin, sh dolphin shape on the bottom. We went a long way from Lego piece and paper to fully printed 3D model. Whenever there's a problem at UPS, you're really the, you know, the way that we've approached it really since the 1960s is to one, identify the problem, uh, really look for the most efficient way to do that, to complete that task, standardize that, and then measure it. So my group really gets involved with the standardization of the process and the work measurement associated with it. So we assign the time values to really just about everything we do at UPS for moving a package from A to B, whether that's grabbing a hand cart, whether that's going up and down the elevators, going up and down the stairs, or walking to your front door to deliver a package. Well, my name is Gabriel Peck. Uh, I am a high school teacher at Peachtree Ridge, um, and I mainly teach physics. I'll also be teaching a robotics course this upcoming year. Well, from my gift experience, uh, I think I've really appreciated just being able to see how math and science are applied in industry today. And that's one of the really important connections, I think, for students to be able to say, all right, why am I learning this? That question of, why am I learning this can motivate a student to work so much harder, to be so much more interested, curious, and I think the benefit in that is priceless.